Today, Spokane police oversaw the cleanup of the makeshift homeless camp outside City Hall called Camp Hope. The city has been trying to get that area cleared since last month. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Ariana Lake. The people who have called Camp Hope home for the past month packed up and left today before their belongings that were left over were thrown in a dump truck. Our Taylor Graham is working for you tonight. She watched it all unfold today alongside the homeless, their advocates, and a handful of city employees. Yeah, Ariana, every night for the last month that we've been out here, tents have lined this street. But this morning, those tents were taken down and thrown out as part of the city standard procedure. And the homeless here say even though they knew that was coming, it was still hard to watch. In the last month, it's grown from a few sleeping bags to a few dozen tents. This was a beacon of hope, a 24-7 place that people could come and actually be given advice, given food, given clothing. Camp Hope, the homeless camp outside City Hall, was dismantled Sunday morning as police enforced the city's order to remove property posted Thursday. So first, police came out and um, asked people to please pack up their things. And so uh, individuals who were here packed up their belongings um, and anything that was left after the packing, um, the abatement crew did come and, and remove. Since June, the city has cleaned up 100 camps and has been trying to do the same here since November. But it hasn't been so easy. Protests from advocates like Valerie Whaley. Well, everybody's human being and needs to be treated as such. Everybody deserves respect. She came back Sunday as post was blocked off, giving police the chance to oversee the cleanup. She helped homeless people like Stephen Besserman move their stuff out. It broke my heart just now. Just They didn't even dismantle it. They just bundled all the tents up with the gear inside of it, what can literally be protecting people's lives and threw it away. But the city says this is just standard procedure. Um, this happens to be in a very visible location, um, but um, it is something that we that we are constantly dealing with. Though that doesn't make it easier for Whaley and the people she stood by for the last month here at what used to be Camp Hope. It's sad. It's a little overwhelming. Now, we're told as of last night, there were 46 openings at the Salem Lutheran Warming Center, as well as space for women at the House of Charity. And police say at, during today's cleanup, there were two men arrested for obstructing an officer. In Spokane tonight, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.